And let's get a word in on the cattle markets too. In early July, the USDA announced $500 million would be made available this fall to help small meat processors increase market options for farmers and ranchers. Ag Secretary Tom Vilsack said the funds will help expand processing capacity and make markets more accessible, fair, and resilient. We spoke with Mike Briggs and asked him his thoughts on the news. I think that's huge. I think the government needed to do something because they allowed so much consolidation of the meatpacking industry to where four players had over 80% of the market. That's never good. Barriers to entry into that industry are so high because it's so capital intensive and the competition is so hard and so tough that I think they had to do some things to help because we needed to increase capacity. There's, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We do not have a, the ability to process the amount of cattle we need to just to feed people. That's part of the reason the price got so high in the, in the supermarket. I don't ever want to see beef priced out of people's diets. Well, if you can't get it to them, that's what's going to happen, and we have to be able to have that ability. And so we need more packing capacity desperately. Another one of our regular analysts, Elaine Cub, says this initiative is a great opportunity for some beef producers to sell a more value-added product directly to the consumer. The numbers have come out that in the past five years, the, the farmer's share of the beef dollar has gone from 50 some percent down to 30 some percent. And I think that's true. When we see choice beef, box beef selling at 265, and yet the cash cattle market going to the packers is, is kind of stuck at 120 and, and we can never seem to get anything more out of the packers. I think that feels very true to us is we're just not getting as much of the consumer's dollar being passed back to the actual uh, producer of the animal. So what what can we do to fix that? I mean, I think one route, as, as, you've, as you've mentioned here, is to, to do with more of the direct marketing sales directly through a butcher. Um, that would be certainly probably more cost involved to it, but it's certainly something to try if folks are willing to go that route. And I think there was also some mention in um, the recent executive order from, from the Biden administration about more competitiveness between the few packing companies that we do have in this country. And I don't know, you know the specifics of how that would work, but again, anything to try to make that, that cash cattle market more competitive and pass back more of the dollars to the actual producer of the animal, I think it's worth a shot.